Today we're talking about Shock Doctors, the official travel apparel of the IndyCar series, but to our drivers, it's so much more. This is Up to Speed. Hey everyone, Shock Doctors has been responsible for safety equipment dating all the way back to the mouth guards we all used as kids. But what you may not realize is they are also responsible for one very important piece of equipment mandatory for all of our IndyCar Series drivers. Here to tell us all about it is Mr. Mike Yates from the Delphi Safety Team. Now Mike, we're talking about the eject device. Sure. Um, back in the late 90s when the, the inception of the IndyCar Series, a fellow named John Deegan sat down and decided, he was an ex-motorcycle racer, and he decided there was a little too much tension on the neck and the cervical spine when the rescuers would remove the helmet. So he come up with a device that's like a balloon that actually goes in the top of a helmet. You inflate it with air and it actually removes the helmet from the head up as opposed to having to pull the helmet off and increasing those neck tensions and cervical spine injuries that you want to avoid if there is a possible injury in that area. Uh, I have a helmet here. These things are available through Shock Doctor as they said. It's very easily installed. It fits under a flap in the top of the helmet. There's two-sided tape that actually holds it in. Once it's in, you put the flap back down. You rub the tube up through the side here. It can be inflated with air. Once air is introduced, the balloon fills up and it'll remove the hat, uh, helmet from the head. It's a very light, nice device to have for safety. Can you actually show us how this works? Sure, if you'd like to put a helmet on, we can <laughs> take it off of you in a car. Absolutely. Dave Brown, coordinator for the IndyCar series, is gonna act as the paramedic through this, and we'll demonstrate the hookup and how the helmet actually comes on once the air is introduced to the system. He'll assess the patient, decide that we need to take the driver out of the race car. The head surround comes out. What that does, it clears all this space for us to work, gives us a lot more room. We attach the eject device to the helmet. It's important that you keep hands on each side of the helmet and you feather the thing as it comes up. You'll see as it comes up, it just lifts the helmet right off the head. And then you can see inside the balloon is inflated and it raised it right up off her head without any neck tension or cervical spine tension as we remove the helmet. Thanks to Mike and Dave for showing us how this critical piece of equipment works, which has been mandatory in the IndyCar series since 1998 and now, thanks to Shock Doctors, is available to all of you with your own helmets. This is IndyCar.com. For Mike and Dave, I'm Lauren Bolander, and you're up to speed.